are back, and it's a lot going on right now in the do spot. I, I hate to I hate to be that guy, Simmons, but like we're we're getting a little distracted from the task at hand here. Mr. Official over there, extremely brolic, sunglasses on, shiesty mask, full blown. Yes. And and I don't know what to say, Simmons. Hugo needs to go interview him right now. Yeah, yo, he is brolic, straight up. I'm gonna text. I don't know what's going on. I've never seen a referee in a game of this magnitude with show up and show out with shades on. He is showing up and he is showing out right now. I just now. texted Hugo to interview him. Yeah, to go interview him, bro. It's crazy. See what's going on. Oh my goodness. Derek Cox, the, the mask, Derek Cox Jr. How about that? Absolutely. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. The 2-5, they just do it a little different. The lights are about to cut out in the K. Here we go. Yes, sir. Report live from Kinston High School. What a place. What an event. It is live in the K. Reporting live from Simon Bright. 1888 I trap. Brian Hanks on the mic. Kinston smells it. They feel it. They think they can get the win. Man, oh man, what a day of basketball so, we have okay. in store. Now let's really break these games down. Yes, sir. The thing about it is, is Kinston's going to this game with one loss. They just lost this week. A tough one to Eastern Wayne. Kinston hasn't beat Farmville in the last couple years. With Josh Short being out, Miles, do you think Kinston can steal this win? I definitely do. You know, we talk all the time late in games when things are going down to the wire, is the door still open? The door's open for Kinston to get a win and to get their face back against a Farmville team that has really run the table against them in recent years. I was talking with Jeremy Dixon the game, before the game. I said, why not? He's like, why not tonight? Why not now? Might as well do it. <laughs> and uh, this has just been a great day of basketball, like we said, but these two teams know each other well. It's a familiar foe, and now it's about time. Who's who's going to grab the moment, Simmons? If we're going to pick one player to do it, I think it's Jeremy Dixon. I think we got to look at Jeremy Dixon. I think we have to look at Alex Moy. Mm -hmm. Alex Moy, Derek Cox Jr. They're they're, they're the guys that's going to stir the straw from Farmville. And keep out for the young fella, Mike Howell Williams. Also, the thing you cannot forget about with Kinston is really with this year's team, Dante Ellis is the goods. He's probably one of the fastest guards in North Carolina that nobody else knows. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? For Kinston this year, big time assist maker, big time shot maker, Paint and is a PG. blur with the basketball. Got the real boogie in his feet. Absolutely. Tip off right there. Here comes Kinston. They get the basketball to start things off. It's in the hands of Ellis. Now it's Dixon. He thought about it. Good nope. triple threat. Mm -hmm. and we'll see what they're able to do. Here's Dante Ellis, like we said. Dixon for three if that falls. Oh, they couldn't get it. Rebound underneath, working around, little flip shot up, no good. Rebound, Jaden Pitt. He could have a big game tonight too, Simmons. The thing you know about Farmville is Farmville plays that zone. They do a good job of being able to have length, they get, get hands in your face on both sides of the court, and that's Alex Moy who's ready to step up. I think this is going to be a bomb burner tonight. Dante Ellis in and now get to the cup. Oh, oh sir. Rejected away. The Farmville crowd loves it. You mentioned Moy, physically imposing sophomore. It's crazy because you can look at him in his sophomore year and tell that his junior senior year, he's going to be a absolutely monster. special for Coach Larry. Absolutely. Here's Jeremy Dixon rocking the yin yang Adidas. Going to work it around. Now it's Ellis with it. Back to Dixon in that corner. He'll drive baseline, a lot of contact, snatch, dribble, no call. I like that they're letting him play early. 
the thing about this Kinston team is they have a lot more shooting than Kinston teams in the past. Mm -hmm. Like, you're not used to seeing Kinston move the ball as much. You're used to seeing them run great stats, but Kinston is a place where you, they have pros. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? They have legitimate Division One guys that they can play through with spots on the floor. Now it's more of a balanced attack. Yep. You're completely right. Over a minute in, 6.53 left. For everyone in attendance, thank you for showing out. For everyone tuning in on the stream, thank you for tuning in. This has been a great day of hoops, and we're excited to end it here with you right now with the signature ri rivalry in Eastern North Carolina. It's deep. And one thing I want to see Dante do a better job of early, that was a great pass. He saw that, was watching throwing that skip pass to the corner. Mm -hmm. Perry Tindall, Larry Williford, two because of the, the top track. coaches in North Carolina as well have done a great job leading their teams to a lot of success over recent years. Here's Williams, out to Moy, see what he can do. Like you said, this could be a big time game for him. Middle of the floor, dump down, Cox Jr. No sir, oh, oh wow. Got deflected in, and Farmville draws first, two nothing. Yeah, I thought Jeremy was gonna block that. He, he got a hand on it, but somehow it went in. And here's Kinston with it now. Drive, kick out, corner three is up. Good. And the first one falls, and this place is going crazy. This is the thing. This Kinston team has a lot more shooting than Kinston teams in the past. So when Kinston's swinging that ball, it's a totally different ball game. But I'm going to keep it real. It was live when that trade ball just went down. I'll tell you what. I'll Trying tell you what. to control my levels. It was live when that trade ball there went down. There is nothing like the community it support was, here in the 252. It was live when that trade ball went down. I'm going to keep it a band. They keep screaming like that. I'm putting my uniform on in the back. <laughs> Here's the freshman Williams. So skilled. The lefty can make shots. Mm -hmm. A lot of boogie with the ball handling. Team Trez. Couldn't get it. Rebound He's in the and back traffic. court with Jordan Vick. Yep. No con a lot of contact, no call. And here comes Kinston. It's in the hands of Cobb. He'll pitch ahead to Ellis. Ellis goes up, lays it up and in. Kinston up 5-2. That's tough. Dante Ellis. Good Ooh, body control there. Gone, yeah, that was great body control. From Jaden Pitt. Here's Cox Jr. with it. He'll cross court over to Jaden Pitt. Jaden Pitt, one of the key returning contributors from last year's team. That yeah. played a huge role for them along with Leontay and Terquavion who have moved yeah. on. On the low, Jaden Pitt got two rings. Uh, Freshman yeah. and sophomore year. Yep. That layup there is no good. Rebound, Cox Jr. blocked away. Kinston balls batted around. It's in the Gotta hands. Gotta come up with it. Gotta relax. Good pitch. Oh, Dante about to get busy. Check him out. Ooh, Ooh had it ripped quick away. Quick hands by Derek Cox Jr. Here comes Jaden Pitt. Pitt rifles one out to Williams. Spot up corner triple. It's up and it's good. The freshman tells him what's good with it, and we're all tied up at five five. He's one of the next ones up in this storied rivalry, and he's trying to steal a moment right now. It's side in here, Pasta. Hit the three. Hit the three in the dangerous corner with a lot of a lot of crazy population around him. It ran down court like this. <laughs> Three ball, it's Simmons and Pasta right now. Four minutes, 49 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Pasta, just tell me what you see so far, man. Man, I see two teams that look really locked in right now at both ends of the floor. There have been a couple mistakes, but for the most part, you're seeing the big players look to make plays. Whether it be Pitt for Farmville, just kind of running the show. And then for Kinston, they obviously want to run stuff to get Jeremy Dixon good looks at the basket. Great mid-range shooter, can knock shots down. Really a three-level guy. So I'm intrigued to see what they kind of run for him to get him going. But with the zone, they're doing a good job moving it side to side and getting some quality looks. Now, I agree, man, 100%. Um, that's the thing with with, uh, with with Kinston and Farmville this year is somebody is going to have to step up. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna be a different. It's gonna be a different character than before. Because that's what makes this game so intriguing. It does because this is where new faces emerge. Obviously, with no Josh Short, he's the most known figure for Farmville coming in. Obviously, Dixon has been in the trenches with this Kinston team for a long time. But somebody is gonna have a signature moment and make a name for themselves in the two-five-two in this game. Yeah, Dixon all the way bully ball. No, rebound. Alex Moy. In that situation, so would love to see Jeremy kind of swing that ball back out. Just because you know they're trying to trap you and get out your hand, uh, hug for three. From deep, no good. Rebound, batted <laughs> around. We hear good the church in the background going up. And one. No good. No call either. A lot of contact underneath going on. Strong drive there, but a reach-in foul is called. Larry doesn't like it. Two of the most passionate coaches you'll find, too. Yo, this game. Mr. Ref really got on five, bro. This rep has on shades, dog. I've never seen nothing like it. 
I've never seen anything like it either. <laughs> it's truly one of the great things. I, I've never seen anything like it. Only in Kinston, Simmons. Only in Kinston. Absolutely. Here's so Farmville doing a good job turning up defensive intensity right now. Look at that ball, ball movement. Oh, get to the cup, young man. All the way, layup and one. Why not Jalen Cobb making a play? Yes, sir. Big time player. He's showing ability. Getting to the hit a three. Now pump fake one dribble. Get to the black. Look at kiss <laughs> off the backboard. Jabra Kennedy putting on the show right now. Oh, that's Jalen Cobb. Yeah, Sorry. Jay, no, I good. always get them mixed up. What? I got them two mixed up at uh, first play. Yeah, I, said, I didn't call that game, so this is my first time really calling a Kinston game this year. I was able to watch most of it. Free I throw, Jalen Cobb. Oh, it's all good. It's all good. 8-5 to count, and it looks like Cox Jr. is coming out. But for Farmville, who came in, it looks like it was number 12. Actually, no, it was 24. That's Chris Rhodes, the sophomore. You know, they've been talking about this game all week in the barbershops, in the churches, in the lunch line. Mm -hmm. It's been crazy. Mm -hmm. At Bojangles. At Kings. At, at Kings. At Highway 55. It's been going down. Kinston Farmville, Saturday night. It's a move. This is the ticket to have in the 252. Williams for three. No good. Rebound. A lot of physicality underneath. And a foul is called before the shot. The one thing about Kinston is you know you don't want to get in foul trouble. They got big horse coming off the bench, though, so don't think that this Kinston team doesn't have any depth. Mm -hmm. Strong drive shot up there, no good. Rebound secured, Kinston, here they come. Get back to the middle of the floor. Oh, weaving through, showing some razzle dazzle. Should have kept the dribble alive. And here comes Williams the other way. Full head of steam, Williams had a poke back. Great hustle there. The speed in this game is on another level. Yep. This team... These two A teams got a bunch of athletes. The speed and the athleticism is at a premium tonight. Mm -hmm. Williams kick out to Moy. Oh, they almost had a lapse there. Williams catches on the wing. He's weaving through some pressure, gives it back out. Here's Farmville trying to get something going. Strong. That's tough. It is, a little pull up J, no good. Rebound, Moy's got it, no he doesn't. Should have just grabbed the basketball. Look at him battle for it back though. What an effort from Ellis under, it looks like that was Ellis. Who's got the ball? Farmville does this, Jaden Pitt. Pitt all the way, goes up, takes the bump, lays it in. What a yeah, finish a from Jaden Pitt. 8-7, Kinston in front. Oh, another turnover. Farmville all the way, layup, yes. Another big finish right there. That one from Jada Kiss Daniels. 9-8, Farmville. What you wanna see, what you wanna see from Kinston is Right now, great take by Jerem. What you want to see from Kinston is right now, they're trying to run so fast that they're just catching and they're trying to go. They need to relax, catch and face, mm -hmm. see what's going on, and then push up the court. But that was a big time response by Jerem. That was business. Yep, nice physical drive there from Dixon. Here's Williams with it, the freshman. Big Horace coming to the table. Yep. Ayo, hey, shoot that from the parking lot. Team Trez off the rim. Moy, clean up duty, no, gets his own. Goes back up with it, no, but he draws a foul. Hey, Mr. Ref, you did not see that through the tent, baby. You didn't see that through the tent, man. <laughs> what is up with that? Yo, man. <laughs> what is the deal? There's no like, way he okay, saw that through the tent. Simmons, I know you're a, you're a sunglass connoisseur. Absolutely. When you have a mask on with your sunglasses, does it does it get foggy or does it not get foggy? Listen, bro, the sunglasses get foggy, but the cra the crazy part of it is is he got the turtle he got the he got the, he got the turtle shell joints. That's the brown on brown. That's the stylish look. It is. It definitely. You got a Nike wristband on too. So. Yo, he's really, Bridges, Bridges he's, is about to fall out, man. He's, he's living up to the moment right now. This is something to be seen. This is crazy. You seen this ref, Graham? He's got sunglasses on. This is a debacle. Yeah, yo, I'm with Pasta. This is a debacle, yo. <laughs> 152 on the, on the, the clock. Crazy. Free throw good for Moy. He yo, gives Farmville man. a one-point lead. This is a scene to be seen here today. Two different spellings in one sentence. Oh, Ooh. big travel. Yeah. So what you see right now is at the point of attack when the ball is moving, Kinson is getting caught, and they're rushing too much on the catch and face. And, and part of that's Farmville just swarming them off the catch. Right. If they just take their if they take their time 
with the pass and catching the pass, they'll be okay. Like, Kinston, Kinston is right where they want to be. Mm -hmm. Kinston's right where they want to be. Yes, it's only the first quarter, but they're right where they want to be. A minute, 32 seconds to go. They cannot allow Farmville to go on a big run. Jaden Pitt for three bad shots. Here comes Kinston. He got to get off the sideline, man. Working it around. It's Kennedy with it. So if you notice, when Kinston gets the ball off the rim, they're going up the sideline, and what they got to do is get the ball back to the middle of the floor so they can pass left or right. Let me get your cookies. The young fella sliding his feet, really working. Three ball up. No, no good. good. Rebound. Dante Ellis, pitch. That's a basket, though, folks. Boom. You yes, caught it, Simmons. sir. Jaira Kennedy. I saw it when they played first flight. The difference in this Kinston high basketball team is this kid's the high team has balance when it comes to shooting the ball. They have four or five guys that can really, really shoot it. And that's what's helping them right now. Three threes in the first quarter has them with a two-point lead. No, nah, it's, it's and, and I think that's a huge part of it, Simmons, that you mentioned. Like, we've seen Kinston teams in the past not have a ton of spacing. And that's not the issue for this team this year. They're built more to attack a Farmville zone, to stretch them out. Larry's having a timeout talking over with his guys right now. I do want to ask you, because jo I just talked to Josh Short. He said he is um, fully expecting to be cleared on January 26th, so about a week and a half from now. What, do you, what different element do you think he would bring into this game? Then you can see Farmville running their textbook defense. They're doing a good job, but that 3-2 zone, that amoeba zone, that zone that switches for them with Jai at the top, he's the athleticism. Jai is a top, top five athlete in the state of North Carolina, period regardless of classification. Mm -hmm. That's what they're missing. Him and Moy on the court at the same time, that's a lot to deal with. It is. Still, let me get that. Oh, almost. Weaving through, though. Kick out, corner three. It is up. The answer Big is time shot. good. That's a tough one right there from Chris Rose. Yep. Another team trash kid. Great job by Dante getting to the middle of the floor. That's what you need right there because now they can get to the basket and attack. Number, number, number 12, not on the roster. Yep. Oh, that's tough. Big Horace. Good job. Relax, relax, relax. Yep. Michael Williams is doing a great job on the basketball. Mm -hmm. like, I didn't know he was that much of a pest defensively. He's really He's sliding. He's really, his feet. really moving his feet. And he really changes the pace of games, bro. He can guard. He can. He's a kid that can, can really play, man. I was really impressed with what he did in that Spalding game the last day of the John Wall. Coming in for Farmville right now, they got some physicality coming in. Samaj Daniels, the 6'2 senior, he's a big boy. Yeah, man, TJ, man, <laughs> TJ, TJ, TJ Brolic, real talk. Used to get some baby storm bump back in the day. Oh, really? Yeah, that's how I know him. Pull up jumper, no. And that'll do it for the first quarter. Kinston leads 15-14 in what's been a great back and forth battle here so far. Simmons, give me your break time, my friend. Whew. The speed of Farmville is off the charts. Farmville does has, has showed that even without Jai, even with T gone, like Farmville is a movement. It's a culture. Yep. It, it's transitioned to a culture now. Yeah. With Kinston, Kinston's ready to play. I think Kinston is one of the most slept slept on teams in two-way. A lot of people didn't know what they had. They lost Dontre Styles. People kind of forgot about him. But this Kinston team has a ton of balance. Mm -hmm. We saw Kinston earlier this year against First Flight, and they handled them easily and that shocked me because mm -hmm. coach Chad I mean one of the best coaches around as far as play calling like they play both sides of the ball like you can't score on first flight and relax on defense Kinston showed me that they can play at a fast and frantic pace mm -hmm. the difference is with Farmville Farmville's bread and butter is making you turn it over the key is Kinston still had five to seven turnovers in the first quarter can they limit those and they can they continue to make more shots the key now is if one of the key players gets in foul trouble for either team, I think the momentum can sway the other way. Yeah, no, I think you're completely right, Simmons. Great breakdown, second quarter underway. Here comes Jaden Pitt. Baby zone look for Kinston now. Yeah, but see, the thing with them is you can't get caught up because you know Farmville, they're looking for that. You yep. know what I'm saying? They're going. Moy is just everywhere today. Thought about the three, strong drive, little shot up and good. Nice finish see? underneath right there for Brandon Knight. 5'8 Jr. One of the young boys from Raising Young Men, you know what I'm saying, that I remember from back in the day. But all these guys for Farmville, I've seen them either in the summer or at previous schools, you know what I'm saying, different opportunities to play high-level basketball and be decision makers. Mm -hmm. So that's what makes them so dangerous. Dante almost got away with the travel. He did. Dixon, that pass was 
supposed to go to the corner, but Dixon Once again, I'm it. questioning the call by Mr. Ref because as you can't see that clearly through that tent. Even when you it's an obvious call, clearly. you still have to question it. This is what I'm saying, bro. I got to talk about this on my IG story, bro. I, 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 I got to talk well, about this. Well, I think Hugo Hugo's going to get an exclusive interview at the half. Absolutely, bro. Steal. Got him. Got him. Uh-oh. Here we go. Uptown. Oh. oh. He put it in. I See, didn't. Kennedy. I didn't know the young fella was bouncy. Oh, right back. Moy for two. Farmville gets the lead right back. See, what I think has to do is Farmville's chosen, chose to say, look, we're going to match the gas and play as fast as we can. I think Kinston plays fast, but they don't have to play that fast. Ellis, corner three, no. Rebound, good box out there, but a, a, a active tip out. Now it's Dixon. Extra pass to Ellis. He attacks, little floater, no. So you see, they're, they're playing a little too fast. If they slow it down a little bit, I think they'll be okay. Bug yeah. loses the rock. Oh, wow. Good hustle to get it back. And they called a foul on Pitt. It's a tough call. It is. At least he doesn't have glasses on. At right. least he saw it and made a decision. Absolutely. <laughs> I like the way they ref in this game, though. It's like they know what's at stake. Yeah, they do. So they, they're letting them hoop. They, I think they understand the magnitude of the situation. It's been a, a good called game for the most part. The foul's not playing too big of a factor one way or the other. Here's Ellis with it. I feel like as we say that, though, now we might get some funny business, but you know how that goes. Here's Ellis. Back out. Kennedy, or not Kennedy, he thought about it. That was Cobb again. It's easy to get that mixed up. And it's crazy because Farmville defense is so good. Oh, he's dunking that. Oh, Farmville defense oh, is so missed good. It. That's that Evo, too. Mm -hmm. Their defense is so good that they have Kinston second guessing themselves. Ellis like, all the way for two. They don't know if they want to shoot the three or, you know what I'm saying, shoot the pull up. Mm -hmm. but that was a good take right there by Dante Ellis. 19 18, Kinston in front. We've had a lot of lead changes. Some reinforcements coming in for both teams here at the next whistle. 542 to go. Here's Farmville trying to get it going here. If it's Brandon Knight, Brandon Knight looking to get to the cup. Mm -hmm. Moy takes the three from the wing. No good. Rebound underneath, tipped into the hands of Dixon. He'll bring it up. Here comes Jeremy Dixon, 6'4 wing, showing some wiggle. All the way, charge. Yeah, you just got to come up on the brakes a little earlier and then go feet. ahead and get it out. Two feet. Not bad because that's his first foul, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. Yep, he knows, he knows. It's his second. Oh, it's his second. Yeah, it's tough. So probably got a break for a couple minutes, come back in. Maybe we'll see some D for O switching in the, uh, the last two minutes. It wouldn't shock me to see a Farmville run here. It wouldn't shock me because Jeremy is helping him so much with pressure and, he's and being able to relieve it. Yes. Here's Williams with it, the freshman. Back to Jaden Pitt, the junior. Pitt attacks, goes all the way, travel. What a scene that guy's got going on, man. No, oh, it's my man, yo. He couldn't see through the tent, bro. That's a two step lay with a swipe. Two step lay, swipe. I can't. Yo, them the Isaac Hayes joints, son. I, Isaac bro. Hayes. Yes. Here's Pitt with it. Jaden Pitt pushing the basketball. Has Williams. Good pass. Cross court. Goes up. Foul. Probably should have spread out to the three-point line there, but regardless, he's going to go to the line for two to get to try to get this lead back for Farmville Central. A lot of talk on the court. Let's see if MJ Williams can knock down the free throws. First one for the lefty freshman is no good. Alex Moy coming right back in. You're right, Simmons. He's over the next two years. He's got a chance to put up some monster numbers. Of Listen, yes. Yeah. The, it's crazy. Look, they bringing him the young boy, like, bro. It's spooky what Larry has at Farmville, bro. Like, that's what I'm saying. I remember last year we really broke out on the roster. And I was like, yo, bro, they're going to be in the next six or four, or four to five championship games. My fault was by saying six. But, like, listen, It might bro. be six. Yes. Oh, wow, that's tough. Strong Played move. off two what? feet. I like it. What a finish from number 23, Jada Kiss Daniels, all the way to the cup. Mm -hmm. 20 to 19. Here's Dante Ellis with it. Gives it up. 
Kinston trying to get something going. Yeah, they got him second guessing themselves, man. They just got to make the simple play. Ellis, spin move, weaving through. Down low, a little shot up, no good. Tip in is good. Good energy and effort there from Clark. <laughs> Coach Larry wanted to travel on that call. Here comes Jaden Pitt, 21 20 the count. Pitt thought about it, back to we had Williams. He's going to let that one fly. He won't. He'll give it to the corner. Gets it back. Pitt. That's the one, bug. Yep. That's the one, that bug. And no good. But he doesn't have no legs into it. He's shooting at all arms. He got to have some legs into it. Mm -hmm. Get to the middle of the floor, Dante. They're going to trap you there. Move it. See what he got. Got to skip it. Great decision. Oh, good hands oh, there wow. from Jaden Pitt underneath. Rebound. They find a way. Good hustle from Kinston, and they get rewarded right there. Williams on the finish. 23-20. The Vikings are in front. Moy for the answer to tie. No. Got to push now, Dante. Here comes Ellis. Pitch ahead. Here comes Kinston. Tough lay. Oh. You know what, though? Kinston's ability to, that when they're attacking the offensive glass right now and coming up with these second chance points and these rebounds, it's putting them, it's putting them in a position to take the lead of this game, man. Mm -hmm. For real, for real. Yep. Twenty-three, twenty. The count. Here comes Jaden Pitt. Team down three, three and change to go. Middle of the floor, Moy. Tough shot. No. Rebound. Kinston's got it. It's in the hands of Ellis. Here he comes. A blur. What happened? I guess it was a foul behind the play. Yeah. Mr. Rebel, like he was thinking about it, like he didn't know what he really wanted to call. I wasn't even looking at it. I don't even know what it was. I was looking ahead at the ball. Got caught me ball watching, coach. <laughs> 2.57 left, 23.20 the count. Here's Ellis, been orchestrating offense. That's the one. Three-pointer up. He Listen, bro, Shira Kennedy got a clip, bro. Kinston up six, 26-20. Here's Williams back to Pitt. The whole gym's chanting defense. You gotta love the environment. Has to. Oh, here's Pitt. Lost it. Secured by Williams. He'll drive here. Foul is called. You love the fact that JD plays off two feet. He does a good job of getting to the into the gap and jump stop. Shorty, Shorty tried to run out the gym because she almost fell out her Crocs. She think we ain't seen them. Simmons caught you. You almost fell out them Crocs, I mean, man. You know, Simmons, I've been working with you now for going on three years. You got eyes everywhere. Got a court vision, baby. Bug, baseline, and one. I'm going to call it before the shot, but he will have a one and one right here. And Kins or Farmville has struggled from the free throw line in this one. They got to capitalize here. Jaden Pitt. It is up. It is good. Big time shot. Yep. He's got one more. He's got to hit one more to make it a four point game with 2.15 left in the second quarter. Pitt again gets it to go. 26-22 the count. We got a thriller, Pasta. We definitely do. See, that's, that's the thing, though, man. I think, I think, and I see why Coach Tinder was upset. They're playing, 
kissed in place fast, but not this fast. If they could just slow it down a tad. Just a half it, step. Because if you're really thinking about it, let's let's really break it down. Farm Bill is sending to wherever, wherever you go on the court, which means they're trusting that they're going to be, it's going to be odd and even numbers on the backside, and they believe, they believe oh, another that. Another one if he gets that to go. They believe that their guys can come up with a stop, and it's a two-on-one or one-on-two. Here comes Jaden Pitt all the way, taking a, a bump, but he's going to go to the line. And Pitt's going to go to the line here for, oh, they call it on the floor, so it's another one-on-one. -on -one. thing with Larry too is this whole team's coming back next year. Bruh. The whole team. This is what I'm saying, bro. Pitt misses the front end. Rebound secured by Kinston. They're going to try to add to their lead. Here they come. It's Drake. Drake. Oh, that's tough. All the way. Don't tell me he smoked. Uh, he got that to go. I was about to say. 28-22. Kinston in front. Here's Pitt. Back to Williams. Into the corner. Moy. He'll take the three. And Come on, make man. the three. Come on, man. You see what's going on with a young fella. He's starting to turn the corner, and I can't be mad. It's in the DNA. It is. See, look at this. Look at this. Now they're getting layers because they're slowing down. Mm -hmm. And I just looked at Coach Tittle, and he's saying this all day. That's what I'm saying. If they just relax, they're sending two all over the floor. Mm -hmm. Just relax, keep the ball in the middle of the floor. Y'all got layups on the backside. Mm -hmm. Y'all got enough athleticism and shooting to make them pay. Moy, Once, again. Oh, wow. No One, if Kinston can get them to play straight up, Kinston got a chance, bro. Mm -hmm. They got a real chance. Yep. Hand it off, get to the middle of the floor, relax. They're coming behind you. Corner three, thought about it. Oh, got See? tripped up. That's tough. That, so as a coach, that's one of the most frustrating calls because it really had nothing to do with you, but part of basketball is they call the trip. That's the one where I'm tight. I don't walk outside. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I can't, I'm not even on the sideline right now. I'm out there talking to somebody. Talking to the lady selling I got to come back, yeah. I got to talk to the boss lady in there. I don't understand. It's going on. <laughs> then I got to come back in. <laughs> 30 to 25 is the count. We got the bleachers being knocked around on the Farmville side to try to distract Mr. Ty Drake. Yeah, nothing crazy, nothing crazy. Free throw, no good though. Come Missed on, it. Ty. Get over there. <laughs> It'll be Farmville ball down five with 32.5 left. You think they hold for one or you think they just go? No, no, no. Farmville, they're trying to create two. They're Farmville, they're going to try to score. Turn you over. And then get a steal and score again. Yo, did Jack do the Brandon Ingram graphic? Yeah. Yo. He's, a, he's different, yo. He different, man. I rock with young Jack. He be doing his thing on his little computer. No, he does. He definitely does. He be doing his thing. He's got a, he's got high upside. He's a high upside prospect. Oh, he traveled. He got away with it. Ayo Bug from the parking lot. Blah. Oh. Jaden Pitt for three. 30, 28. Steal. Pit me, check me, pass. I called it. Steal. Here we go right here. Steal. Oh, oh. Oh, they almost did it. Ty Drake weaving through. He's got eight seconds. Actually, he's got five. Excuse me. Oh, wow. All the way. Whirling dervish to the rim. Oh, good. Rebound, and that is going to do it. Simmons at the half. Kinston leads Farmville 30 to 28. New faces, new names in this rivalry are being born. What do you got? This is a bomb ball. This is a really good high school basketball game we have going on right now. The second half should be epic. Nobody in crazy foul trouble. Kinston up two. They've weathered the storm, but this Farmville team isn't going anywhere. I definitely think Coach Larry is going to say some choice words, and they're going to come out in this third quarter, and they're going to be extremely motivated. Stay tuned. We'll be back in 10.
Simmons, Pasta, second half action, who 30-28. First half was a bomb burner. Um, both teams played extremely hard. I think the thing that we gotta look, I think the thing that we have to really just look at is it's the battle uh, between, you know, the speed of, of, of Farmville Central, their ability to turn you over, their trapping defense. And can Kinston not turn it over, man? Yeah. Kinston has a two-point lead. Dante Ellis, that's what he does. That's a great take. Thought it was a foul. But that's the key, man. It, it is. And, and for Farmville, it's it's that guy right there. Mr. Moy has really been the, the straw that stirs the drink in this half, in the first half. But now we'll see. Yep. So now what we'll see is I want to see what team establishes themselves early, at, at, at particularly the defensive end of the floor. Which team is going to string together three, four, or five consecutive stops and capitalize on the other end. I think that's going to be the one who grasps control of this game. No, absolutely. I agree. I agree. Um, also, you got to look at foul trouble. Yeah. Right? You got Jeremy Dixon with two, and he's been quiet, mm -hmm. facilitating for the most part. Oh, Are you good? Alex Moy, I think he has a foul. So mm -hmm. depending on which one of those get their third foul, could change the game as well. Jaden Pitt, left, right, crossover, strong take. No, sir. Dante pushing. Here he Alex. goes. Ooh, oh, wow. Spin move, lay Ooh. in. No. Rebound, big Horace blocked away. And now it's Dixon with it. Kinston's going to need some baskets from Jeremy Dixon. That's going in, though. Oh, big three. No. Rebound secured Farmville. Here they come. That was Daniels. Here comes Jaden Pitt. Across the court to Williams. Out to Moy. Corner three. Can he hit it? Absolutely, Simmons. Farmville yeah. up by one. Yes, sir. Like he's not shy. And the thing of it is, is when he really shoots his catch, when he shoots his catch and shoot shot, it comes off the same way every time. Mm -hmm. He hardly ever rushes it. Has great form. And I think before he leaves, he's going to be a big time shooter here. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ooh. he dropped him. Oh, no, Dante. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! no. Oh boy! Wow! Oh wow, my! Wow. Goodness, wow, wow. it's chaos at we the K. Got a viral moment. Right back, Williams. The young the three. Fella, Hit it one young right fella back. Got put on his back. Hey, Dante, put him to the turf. That's what I told you. A show. Dante Ellis, another three to roof coming off him. It is wild hey. in here in Kinston. Hey, guys. I told y'all before the game that Dante Ellis got that handle. Excuse me, hit the turf. Hit the turf. Here is Kinston at the line. It's Kennedy. He's got three of them. It's crazy in here right now. It's 33-34. Yeah. He pointed. He pointed. He pointed. And that was a clean drop. Their feet he didn't pointed. get tangled up. That was a clean drop. First free throw was good. We're all tied at 34. You know what I'm, we know what though? The response. The young fella came right back down and hit a three out like it didn't happen. Yeah, because at the end of the day, it's three versus, it's three. Versus three. And he, he responded, credit to him. Didn't seem phased, didn't look feel sorry for himself, but three big free throws right there for Kinston. And here they come. I think it was big that they hit all three free throws. 36-34. Oh, got a hand on it. Yep. Pitch ahead. Good pitch. Layups. Oh, oh what a block no, for Moore. No, no. Alex Moore. He a different, different level athlete. Different level athlete. The he fact that they're going to have this same team coming back next year. They have no seniors. No seniors for Farmville. Mm -hmm. So, wow, what a play from Moore. No, I'm, I'm sorry. The seniors are Derek Cox, number 12, and then Big TJ. Yep. Sixty forty four. Uh, five minutes and 44 seconds left. I thought it was a six. 36-34. We got a great game. Unbelievable game here. Here's Cox Jr. Little floater. Be no. quiet. Tip in. Right so there. That's the thing. Jeremy, Jeremy and um, Derek have been quiet. Mm -hmm. Kick out Dixon. Extra pass. Corner three. It's it is one. up. It is no good. Mm. That looked good, but Mr. Drake, he can knock it down too. Mm -hmm. Here's Pitt. 
rifles a pass, found his way to Cox Jr. He goes up strong, draws a foul. I think, once again, I'm sorry to sound like a broken record. I don't know if Kenson is trying to beat the half-court defense down court by passing it so quickly, but you know Farmville is sending two every time you cross half-court. You can you have enough athleticism and enough ball handling and good passing with your team to take advantage of that on the weak side every time mm -hmm. and get easier baskets. Yep. But it's easier said than done. Seeing Dixon bark out stuff to his guys right now. Larry Wilford doing the same to his team as Cox Jr. has one more at the line to extend the Farmville lead up to two points. It is up. It is no good. Rebound Jeremy Dixon. Here comes Kinston. Here comes Dixon. All the way, try to make a pass, lost it, got it back. And here is Ellis, little spin move, trying to create, dump down. Jump ball, yep, good defense there from Farmville. Moy got his hand in there and gets a steal. That's the thing, like, Farmville's ability to recover when you break them down off the bounce, it's special, man. Like, you only really have a small window. Mm -hmm. Here's the freshman Williams, all the way, driving kick out to Pitt. He's gonna reassess things, take it back out, middle of the floor. Here's Dan, oh. Blocked away, Kinston recovers, here they come. It's Kinston with the ball. Gonna wait, give Good it up job to Dixon. picking up the rod. Dixon drive, forced to retreat. Pass to nobody, but Ellis recovers. Here he is. Ellis, spin move, in the That's lane. Tough. Shot up, no good. Rebound secure. I don't understand why Jerem would get his third foul right there, though. Why would you give up your foul right there? Jerem controls that. Like, it's no need to bear hug. Just get back. That's your third foul. That's a tough one. And it's like, you don't want to get your third right now. No. Not that easy. No. It'd be one thing if there were four minutes left in the fourth, but not even then, that's a bad foul to pick up, period. Now here's Alex Moy, up by one, are the Jaguars. He'll go around a screen, no he won't, he'll reject it. A little dead dribble, lost it, but got it back. Now it's MJ Williams, he'll stop and pop at the free throw line, missed it short, just Not short Not enough legs, man. Yep, going the other Not way. Not enough legs. Dante hit him with that ping pow, they get him powers back. Skip it, skip it, skip it, got him. Oh. Couldn't catch it. He was thinking about he was thinking about that dime. That was the right pass. Mm -hmm. See what we get right here. Here comes Cox Jr. Hands off to Jaden Pitt. See what he can do. To go box. Driving, Moy, jumper, no. Here's Dixon with it. Trying to attack, Dixon lost it, gets it back. Might have gotten away with the travel, but a foul is called right there. I think, <laughs> on Daniels. I think Jam, I think Jam is, he's doing a great job facilitating but when you play like this and you don't take certain shots, it comes back to haunt you in the end because like, you're looking at the game and I feel like he could have, some of the passes he's trying to make would be easier if he was looking at, looked at as a threat as well. Mm -hmm. Like, he had, to, he had the one take in the first quarter, but he's been quiet since then, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And it's like, it's definitely with him playing in the middle of the floor, you kind of need him to get some, you know what I'm saying, to start looking to hit some of those mid-range jumpers and takes. Mm -hmm. 37, 36 the count. Free throw up and good. So he splits at the line. And here comes Farmville, all tied up, 37 apiece. 11 minutes and change to go in the ball game, three and change in the quarter, that's a steal. Here comes Kinston, the other way. All the way up, oh. rejected away. Alex Moore, he blocked that off one of the cameraman's dome. No, bounced off the cameraman. Bro, elite level specimen. Mm -hmm. That's a sophomore bod. <laughs> Throw it up. 
almost taken away. Oh wow! Pull up, Jay. Pull up. No good. Rebound. Here comes. Uh oh. Here comes Moore going down the and other one. way. Takes the bump. Push Offensive. off. Yep. It's the right call. He should have tried to go over the top. Yep. So let's see. Is that three? I wish they would say it over the loudspeaker so we'd know how many fouls they have. I think you're getting it figured out. Unless they're not going to announce it. I know B. Hanks is like, what is going on right now? Yeah. He's cheering the boys on. He wanted to try to get a big win here at the crib. Mm -hmm. Here's Kinston. Kick out there. They have to be careful because you know that double's coming. Yep. There it is. Middle. There Tough it is. Pass. Why? Why? Here's Cox Jr. Lay it up. He smoked. No me. good. Tip in Cox Jr. Look at the extra effort from him getting that second chance opportunity. 39 37 Farmville. They running back up court so fast. Another tip. Look. Wow. Steal. Here's Williams. Goes up. Lays it in. And one. MJ Williams, the freshman. Yeah, Jalen Cobb. Like, I, I've, been, I've been asking that. Like, why are they trying to rush it back down their back? Like, I don't under. I don't understand that. I don't understand that one. Nope. Timeout called by Perry Tyndall and Kinston. They're going to talk it over. Farmville, like you said, Simmons, is going to you know come out of the half with a, with a different level to him. Yeah, man, but it's bothering me, Miles, because I just I think kids are just playing too fast, man. Mm -hmm. I think I think I think it's their game. I just think they're playing a little, little too fast. Man. Yep. Yep. 41-37, the count, 217 left. Always great to be in this gym, in this building. And we have a great 10 minutes and change left for you. 41-37. How about MJ Williams, the freshman? He's had a share of moments in this game, introducing yeah. himself to this rivalry. No, absolutely, but I mean, this is a kid that you could tell, like, he's not afraid of the moment at all. Not in the least bit. Yeah, he's not afraid of the moment at all. Two seventeen left. Forty one thirty seven. The count. We got one more free throw right here. Shot is up and good from the freshman. 42-37 the count. Ooh, got tripped up. No, jump ball is the call, no call. It's a tough call. Yeah. Hopefully Dante Ellis is already right. grabbing that foot. Yeah, that was a that was a trip. <laughs> Here's Ellis. 14, definitely by the foul. Oh wow. Turnover. Freshman MJ Williams has it. He'll pitch it right back to Jaden Pitt. Pitt drives all the way, puts it up, no good. Rebound, it looks like it's Kinston's ball. Good pitch. Good. Absolutely. Go up, lay in. Good fake. Yep. Good basketball. That's exactly what Kinston needed right there. Jalen Cobb. Three-point lead for Farmville, 42-39. Williams catches on the wing. You got to watch him here. He can hit a three-ball right here. He's dangerous. Yep, he's a good off-the-dribble three-point shooter as well. Oh, good pitch. Moy takes the three with a hand in his face, no good. Okay, got to run that, got to push that, spacing, spacing, yep. spacing. Comes Dixon and one. all oh. the way, lost it on the way up, going the other way. That was the scoop. And, and, and you know, it goes back to kind of what I was talking about before, where it's just like, if he would have been more offensive sounded early on in the game, at least get some attempts up, Ooh. he would have been okay. That was an unnecessary force right there from, I think it was Pitt. Here comes Kinson with a chance to tie or get within one. Cross court, skip pass, gets it right back to and Ellis. Hands ready now. Gotta get your hands ready now if you're gyro. Good bounce pass. That's a layup. 
It is. Missed it, oh, though. Jared. Dixon on the follow had it poked free. Here comes Cox Jr. with the mask. Gives it back to Pitt. He'll step into one from deep. Jaden Pitt, no good. Rebound the freshman, Williams. Pump fake. Got him. He'll go to the line for two. Yeah, with Jaden, with, with Bug right now, he's missing that because he's turning his body. He's not squaring up and shooting it straight up, straight down. He's turning his body, and that way the follow through is not it's not going the way it's supposed to. Mm -hmm. At the end of his shot, he has a twist to him. So he just got to get his feet together and shoot it. He's shooting it with confidence, but you can tell, like, he don't got that flow with it. Shot is up and good. Williams going back to the line for one more to make it a five-point game. Some substitutions coming in for Farmville. Chris Rhodes and Brandon Knight checking in. That one is up and good. Yes, bro. Here is, oh my gosh. Yo, I gotta give credit. Michael, Michael, Michael Williams, bro, is one of the best, one of the best on ball defenders I've seen all year. For him to be a freshman, this is, diff this is different. It's crazy. His ability to get his hand on the basketball, slide his feet, he fell. But the young fella, 11 MJ, he the truth. Oh, yeah. He is everything you want out of a small guard, he is showing. And the fact that he's a freshman, like, he literally fell, came back, hit a three. He He's not even thinking about that. Short-term memory, next play. I love it. Like, next year, you just hand him the rock and tell him to go, bro. Yep. Go. Yep. I think it's kind of turning into that this year in a lot of ways, too. It, it, bro, I mean, like, Miles, he's checking all boxes, bro. Yep. And now Cox Jr. going to try to add to that lead again. And Farmville is looking to put themselves in a good situation as we head into the fourth quarter. 20 seconds left. Cox Jr. at the line. Money again. Seven-point lead. And he's going to get a break. The masked man gets a breather. He's put in some work today, doing the dirty things. Kind of what he did last year, too. Ellis draws a foul. But you know what, though? I really think Kinston can get right back into this game. And, and, and it won't take long. They just have to They just have to slow it down. They get, At the same time, they give in Farmville a lot of baskets with quick shots and turnovers. Yep, completely right. Here's Ellis. Turn Got over. him. Look. Their pursuit of the basketball has been out of this world today. They couldn't capitalize there. Kinston's got a heave at the horn. No good. At the end of three, Simmons, it is 46 to 39. The tables have turned. Farmville won that quarter by nine. What are you thinking? The tide is turning, Miles. The tide is turning. Farmville, their speed is different. Like, they're, like, they're scoring. The ball, by the time the ball gets thrown in the air, they're knocking it out of Kinston's hand when they catch it. Um, and then their pursuit of the basketball. Like, I haven't seen a team. Like, you when you teach half-court defense and you teach trapping, you teach to move when the ball is in the flight of the air. Yo, bro, when I tell you they're running a clinic on that right now, yeah. they're not only getting one. They're getting two, three guys there swiping the ball out their hand. It's just, it's just a it's just a different level. Especially I, in a game where like as a team they haven't really shot it very well. Like like it's it's yes. it's really just yes. it's like what you yes. said, that pursuit has been such a difference. And the thing of it is is when you're looking at when you're looking at Farmville walking onto the court right now and you're looking at Kinston walking the way they walked off the court into the huddle and look like they look defeated. Now this this first the thing about Farmville is where it's scary is Farmville coming out with a starters and Farmville's looking to stomp on them. <laughs> Yeah. Like, not, not start. They're looking to stomp on them. Yeah. That's Larry. That's, you know what I'm saying? He was hot at halftime yeah. by the step show. He wasn't really. He, he wasn't <laughs> was really. Not with it. It was so not with it. So here we go, fourth quarter. It's been a rivalry game, though. It you know absolutely has. And it's been a pleasure to do, you know what I'm saying, to do another game with my dog, Pasta Always, man, always. In this rivalry. Cox oh, wow. Jr., Lay. Oh, See, this is what we're talking about. This is what we're talking about. What we're talking about. Here comes Dante Ellis. Nine point lead now for Farmville. And they're starting to feel it here in the building. That's a big shot. It's up and good. Need it. They needed that one desperately Listen. from Jaira Kennedy. And, and the last few years, man, he made 
You know what I'm saying? We, we've seen a lot of guys with that, put that kid's uniform and sh knock shots down. This kid this year is shooting the absolute cover off the basketball, bro. 48-42. Mm -hmm. Kinston back within two possessions. Here's Cox Jr. driving baseline. Bully ball, lay, count it. Derek Cox Jr., the senior, is leaving his impact on this one. Yeah, that ain't... It's crazy, that ain't offensive. Dixon gotta steps have in the one. That's a bucket. The answer, no. Rebound secured, Kinston gets another crack at it. Nice ball fake, Euro step all the way, kick out. Ellis, kick out again. Now it's Dixon, he'll drive, attack, turned it over. Jerry, you gotta shoot that, yes. And you see, that's what people are asking for, and that's what I said, like, he came into this game like, I'm gonna facilitate, and three quarters went by. Yep. And now it's the fourth quarter, like we talked about, and he's like, okay, I'm gonna try to turn it on now. That's hard, mm -hmm. that's hard to do. If anything, let's find, let's find five. Uh-oh. Oh, he dunking that. Oh, he dunking that. Lay in and one. What a play for Farmville. Jada Kiss Daniels, the junior. J.D. Daniels switched the body. E and the Farmville people absolutely love it. You hate it, you hate it for Kinston because for so long, these black and gold jerseys have been, you know what I'm saying? They're like, yo, they, 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 they've, been, they've been the measuring stick. And now it's just like, ah, here they go again. It's the fourth quarter, they're up 10. Without their best player. And now it's, you know what I'm saying, Ja coming back, <laughs> it's crazy. It, it, it just goes to show you the level of what Larry Williford has audio? going on. Audio or no audio? Just... Eastern like, North can Carolina. you hear me and Miles on that or no? No. <laughs> but nah, finish your point. No, I was just saying, what, like, it just shows the level of what Larry's got going on over there. They're going back. I guess Jaden Pitt's going back to the locker room. He looks all right. We'll see what the deal is. Looks like he was cramping up. Yeah. Bug, you know, Bug, like I tell you all the time, Bug be on them sodas, man. Bug be on them sodas, baby. You got to be better, man. <laughs> Bug a Chuck. Chuck five pineapple fantas. Act like ain't nothing wrong. Man, who? <laughs> baby, you can't do that, young fella. Okay. Get some electrolytes. Yeah, man. That age too old. Yeah. Okay. See, see my boys bopping in the back door. One eight eight eight. We got sponsors. <laughs> okay. You gotta remix that thing. Honestly, man, for for a Saturday in the K. What a we day. All, we we all did ourselves once again, man. What a day. What else could you ask for? I mean, these people had somewhere to come uh, come to, man, and see, and see a lot of great basketball, bro. Yep, from all over the state of North Carolina, man, from east to west. We had Moravian come and play their second game in a day. Teams from Raleigh, teams from all over the all over the state come in. Woo! What, you good? Getting a little yeah, stretch? Yeah, yeah, just had to, had to stretch the back. These are such a difference maker, though. No, absolutely. Change the game. Here is Kinston, down 10 with still 6.38 left, big shot from the corner. It's up, no good. Rebound, Pitt back into the game. It's off, it's off, yeah, it's off him. I think he's cramping up again. Yeah, man. Gotta come get him. Let's see if that plays a factor down the stretch. Also, I guess a, a weird horn. Yeah. But we play on. Nice pass, extra one. Out to Ellis for the corner three. Yes. Big time That's shot. That's a big shot, seven point game. Oh, he threw court. that away. Here's Dixon leading the break. Jeremy Dixon all the way. Dribbled off his own foot, out of bounds. Yeah, he got to pass that. They got to pass that. Mm -hmm. They got to pass that. That's tough. They own Jammer by one. That's a tough one because you got to swing that rock. Yep. Here's Williams with it. Freshman getting by his guy all the way. Oh, wow. Couldn't get the finish. That was elite. You got to have that in your tiny man bag. But Cox Jr. on the putback, he has been living on that offensive glass and an unforced turnover there for Kinston. Whatever, whatever I've been saying, like a broken record. All the game. Entire basketball game. 
The only difference, if you really go back and watch this film, if Kinston was to slow down when it comes to pushing the ball back up court, Kinston literally could be up 8 to 10 right now, bro. Moy, cross court to Williams. Night, night, man. Let's go home. Let's go home, man. The freshman with a dagger type goes up, lays it in. Farmville's up 14. How about that? Look at Larry. Look at Coach he Larry. He loves it. He loves it. I'm going to be real. A star was born here tonight. Let me look in the camera. MJ, the young fella, the freshman, he's Williams, here. he's it, bro. He's here. He's it. He's here. Like, real talk. Like the, 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 I'll say it like this. The MJ Williams Farm, Farmville Central era has begun tonight. For him to walk into a game in this atmosphere and then get broke down, but still, he came in and swung first. If you think about it, he hit the first three. He did a lot of things, bro. He did a lot of things in his basketball game. But that right there, that was the y'all out of here. We're not playing nothing else. Spray the place. Throw the mace in here. Blow the doors off the building. Where's the getaway vehicle? We're Peace. out. First thing smoking the Bojangles in Farmville, baby. Four piece supreme meat with Bowberry biscuit. This was special. <laughs> This was, a, this was a great game, though. Mm -hmm. Once again, shout out to my guy Webb, man, and, and all of us, man, like, and the boys at the Hoop State, man. Like, this Kinston event is special, bro. Shout out to B.I., man. B.I. And, and his pops. It's different. Got a key to the city. Mr. Ingram held that thing up on them boys like the championship belt. You know what I mean? It was mm -hmm. it's wild. Something, man. Here comes Kinston down 14 with five and change to go. Yeah, watch his shoes untie. He's gonna slip. Trying to go all the way. Black called for the reach in. And Farmville commits a foul right there. Still a couple more before the bonus. What a statement by Farmville Central. Bro. Truly. Because in the first half, it looked like Kinston was in control. And then and you said it, Simmons, and you talked about it all game what Kinston did, but Farmville, man. It feels like every time we sit here on the mic doing a Farmville Central game, we just talk about how the machine just keeps going. And it's just so impressive to see. You know what's it's crazy? It's like being from this area, it's crazy because it mirrors the Kinston so much. Like, even in the 80s, these program winning, we're getting the state championship games and, you know what I'm saying, being well known and it's, it's crazy. It's like, Kinst, it's like Farmville won state championship before Kinston, Kinston became Kinston. And then they, they, they ran it up. And then now Farmville's running up again. It's, it's, it's crazy, yo. It's nuts. It's absolutely nuts. And, uh, but now there's still, there's still 458 left. Um, the score is 59-45, and uh, it just feels like Farmville has closed the door. And, and even though the game isn't completely out, it just feels that way. Now, we talked about it, man. At the beginning of this fourth quarter, we said it. At the beginning of the fourth quarter that these guys 100% was going to try to blow the doors off this thing, and they 100% did. Four fifty-eight left. Teams coming back from the timeout. Some bodies are starting to exit the facility. I don't think the Farmville people are leaving. Game is resuming. Here's Moy, gives it back to the freshman, man. What a performance he's had, MJ Williams. We saw a preview of it at the wall. But what he's shown here has been nothing short of spectacular. Oh, nah, he, you know, like, got, like, for him to do that, and he has three years in front of him, y'all give him the keys, bro. <laughs> hey, don't go back. Hey, yo, here you go, bro. Mm -hmm. Drive this bus. 
he's gonna and to see the the uh the leaps could, he's gonna take over the next few years. Oh my boy just won a dub. Good for him. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a dub get passed up. <laughs> Free throw up and good. <laughs> Bruton, it never fails. I know you're tuning in. It never fails. It never it never does. I absolutely love it. And we're going to get a look at uh, young Rodnick over the next few weeks. I think I've seen all these kids now. Bruton, Bruton, just, just stamping the fact that he had to reply. That's a fact. Right, but yo, the Bruton timestamps, I mean, he probably had something out about MJ in like 20, 2014. But knowing Bruton, it probably had it in 08. <laughs> Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he be on it. Like, you, I can't be mad at him, dog. No, not in the he least. He put me on to some no, so, Oh, my goodness. So <laughs> can't many. Can't even be mad. So many. So many. Appreciate you tuning in, Bruton. Your support is always appreciated. And it's 443 left now, 6145. Another one? 